Hello everybody, I'm glad to present a basic course of Autodesk Revit Architecture 2013. So, uh, we start with basics and then we will go to some advanced features and I'll try to cover all questions about working in Autodesk Revit. So, we, when you do your first run of Autodesk Revit, you'll uh, start with uh, your start screen uh, where there are three different sections. On the top you have your projects. This uh, section helps you to start or open any project and if you uh, just installed your Revit and you want to examine, examine some projects, you can work with for example, basic or advanced sample project and uh, and see what it is. You can open a project, you can start new one uh, or you can just start new one based on one of templates. Families, families, it's like a bricks in uh, Lego, it's uh, small pieces of any your project so the same thing you can open any one you can create a new one or you can create basic or advanced family this way and on the right in the right side you have resources it's uh, links to internet or to uh, exchange apps it's a store of applications like app store like uh, Play and Google, Google Market. And uh, Revit menu placed in the top left side, it's a button R. Uh, there you can do the same thing, start new one, object, open. If you have any open project you can save it, you can export, publish, print and it's like in every application. Uh, check your license, close your current project, close your Revit and options. Uh, just general information about uh, options. Revit has different uh, scheme for saving files, not like AfterCAD. Revit just gives you a, a save reminder every time. You can set it here in the general save reminder, but I suppose half an hour it's ok. The same uh, thing, uh, thing when you work in uh, one file with your colleagues. Username used when you work with uh, one file. So it's basic settings. In the user interface you can customize your keyboard shortcuts, you can check your time, but really it doesn't matter. In graphics you can uh, you can uh, check your information about your video card, but don't worry, almost every card has information that it's an un unknown card. This means it's just a uh, video card has not been tested with Revit, it's ok. Uh, there are few video cards, professional cards like uh, after uh, uh, like Autodesk Quadro, which works with Revit, but uh, really it has no difference in uh, your speed of your working. Else you can turn on or turn off hardware acceler else acceleration using the aliasing. Uh, else you can't set any color to background, you can just invert from white to black. Else you can set your colors to your uh, selection. In file locations you can add your template to start with it. You can uh, uh, set your path through your uh, different types of that data and the set places for uh, library. Rendering it's uh, place where you, you can set additional render appearance. Uh, check spelling by default, steering wheels and view coupe it's the same 
like in AutoCAD and macros you can enable or disable it. So this is it.